What's going on guys? It is a Monday morning. I got a handful of eBay orders going out the door, some whatnot stuff to ship out. But before I get started, I want to let you guys know that I am hosting a live benefit party YouTube live stream. It's going to be Saturday, November 12th from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be on my wife's channel, Be The Village. As many of you guys know, we are foster parents, so kids are near and dear to our heart. I've actually partnered with an orphanage in Colombia by the name of Fauna. My friend Grace was a adopted from this orphanage and they are in dire need of renovations, hiring professionals to properly care for the kids that they have and just a really worthy cause that I want to be a part of and I thought you guys could be a part of too. During the live stream we're going to be having a little bit of entertainment, we're going to be doing some auctions, I've got some cards I'm going to be auctioning off and there's a lot of other fun stuff auctioning off too actually. There's some artwork, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. If you guys can't make the live stream, but you still want to donate to the cause, I'll put a link to the fundraiser down below in the description. And I'm doing a little bit of a raffle with it too. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. So I am going to be donating cards for my personal collection. So we're going to do a raffle with these. These three cards right here. This is the Billy Ripken uh, 89 Fleer Air card. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this card. This is a PSA 10 it's about a $400 card. We got a Shohei Otani Topps Chrome Rookie, also in a 10. That is about a $120 card, I think. And then this one I haven't priced out recently. It's the iconic Bo Jackson PSA 9. What we're going to do is everyone that donates to the fundraiser, um, we're going to put all the names in a randomizer, and we're going to pick three winners for these. Um, you won't be able to win more than one, so once your name is picked to win, We'll move that out of the uh, selections and then we'll draw again two more times for the other cards. So if you want to be in that drawing, donate below. It could be as little as $1. It does not matter. You just can't have your name in the drawing more than once. Um, we will draw 48 hours after this video is published. So definitely click the link in the description, donate, and you will be entered to win one of these three. And then Saturday during the auction, I'm going to be doing three different um, auctions for these. So during the live stream, we will auction off this 87 Jordan, PSA 7, this 89 Griffey Rookie, PSA 9, and this gorgeous Refractor 2013 Mike Trout Rookie Cup card. So definitely tune into the live stream to auction those and get into the raffle by donating uh, to win these three here. I almost forgot. We're also going to be doing something at the YouTube live stream benefit party called Dares for Dollars. So if you guys want to donate whatever amount and offer up a dare for me to do with whatever your imagination comes up with, that's something we're going to do. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm a little bit scared, to be honest, what you guys are going to come up with. But yeah, don't miss a benefit party. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I've been packing up my whatnot orders. It is now time to ship out some eBay stuff. First thing I sold is this little Apple mouse. I was using this for a while with my... Uh, MacBook, and I just haven't been using it, so I decided to sell it. Sold for $29.99 free shipping. Next thing is in B52. This is a Nest camera. We were actually using this at our house, and we replaced it with think, Blink camera, something like that. Uh, this sold for $64.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing we're going to B43. This is a diffuser. I got this at a liquidation store. It's kind of like a return pallet store. When I was uh, thrifting with Tony the other day, I paid $3 for this. Uh, plugged it in, made sure everything was working great on it. Sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Next thing, we're going to $8.52. I sold this piece right here. I got this in a bulk buy. I maybe got five bucks into it. Probably not even that. It's a swag chain kit. New old stock. I think it's from the 80s. It's to uh, hang a light. Maybe some kind of like chandelier or something. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping, and I'm sorry, $29.99 free shipping, and it has some weight to it. I think it's about four or five pounds, so this is definitely going to be going in a padded flat rate. All right, next is C31. I sold this little Kung Fu hamster. Uh, I had put batteries in this thing, and it works. I'm trying to remember what it sold for. Let me pull it up here really quick. All right, this sold for $24.99 plus shipping, so believe it or not, these little guys do have some value, and you know I've got to play this guy for you. All right, we're going to C61 next. Let's move this blanket out of the way. I sold this Colonial Plymouth Paragon Needlecraft cross-stitch quilt. These things can have some really good value. This was in the same bulk buy where I got that uh, chain. 
So I don't have much into this. This sold for $100 free shipping. Keep your eye out for cross-stitch stuff. Doesn't have to be a quilt, it can be other stuff, but a lot of times it can have some really serious value. Next, we are going to A51. I sold this Adidas Catcher's Mint. I just picked up at the thrift store last week. I think I paid $6 for it. It might've been $8. I need to go back and look, uh, but had it listed for like 40 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $30 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, last thing going out the door is this Sony Trinitron TV with remote. I had this listed for, I think, around $200 or best offer. I took an offer of $170 plus shipping, and I'm going to show you guys how I ship this thing. I use a mattress topper. I actually got this tip from my buddy Jamie. I've shipped these now with mattress, mattress toppers, I think, like five or six times, and knock on wood, none of them have arrived damaged when I do it this way. There's a variety of ways to pack TVs, but I'll show you the way that I've been doing it and having success with it. All right, first thing I like to do when I'm shipping anything with a screen or glass or whatever, I put a layer of cardboard over top of that. So that's just the first step. All right, next step, I've taped the bottom of my box. One strip of tape is not gonna cut it with as much weight as it's gonna be in this box. So I really reinforced it and used a bunch of tape on the bottom. All right, here's a mattress pad all rolled out this is a twin size it was the only one they had i was really hoping they had a queen or even a king but we're just going to make the best of it by the way this costs 15 bucks um definitely not cheap but when you sell something for close to 200 bucks you can spend a little bit of money on uh, shipping supplies like this all right so i put the mattress foam pad in there and then i just set the tv down inside and this is like the perfect size box because it just barely kind of squeezed in there we're going to just lay all this over top stuff it down and uh, tape it up unfortunately packing tape does not stick to this stuff so you really just gotta shove it down in the box and make sure it's really tight and if there's any space like yeah it looks like there's some space in here so what i'm gonna do is use some paper filler just to fill all of this up really good so that it doesn't move anywhere but yeah this stuff is just amazing, amazing packing material. And I'm using a heavy duty uh, medium box, a lot thicker cardboard than just a standard box. So it'll definitely help make sure it gets there safely. All right, I added a ton of packing paper in there and this thing is not moving. It's taped up and ready to go. Selling big stuff like that is really how you can separate yourself from other sellers because a lot of people don't want to mess with it. There's a little bit of work involved, but there's a lot of profit to be made. It is Tuesday morning. And I got my daughter Darcy with me. Hi! And we are packing orders. Darcy loves pulling orders. It is a teacher and service day, so Darcy doesn't have school. Let's see here. C61, Darcy, is where we're pulling the first thing. C61, got it! C61. Hmm. You found it. We're looking for, what that, are you looking for that big thing right there. This is a okay. PS3. Computer? Um, it's a uh, video game. Oh. Yeah. Maybe whoever got is getting this will love that video game. I think they will. Unfortunately, Daddy. this one doesn't work. We had to sell it as is for parts for twenty four ninety nine dollars plus shipping. Okay, next is B51, sweetie. B51. Got it. I've got this one. Oh, here we go. We're looking ah. for a gold video game. Awesome. Adventure of Link. Yeah, um, this one's what? pretty scuffed up. What? At, 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 the, at the first time when you say gold, I knew what to get. Yeah, you did. You grabbed this right away, didn't you? Uh, this sold for $19 free shipping. If it was in better shape, it would have sold for more. All right, next we're going to B41, Darcy. B41, B41. Hmm. Let's see. B oh, here we go. We're looking for two packs of... Uh, Mice traps or mouse traps. Oh, I see it here. You got them. So these two sold for $19.99 free shipping and the first class. They don't weigh that much, so I think it's probably going to cost about four dollars to ship them. Woohoo! All right. Well, next thing, Darcy, I think we're going to have to pull it together. We're going to A4-1. So this is the A4 shelf. Um, and then these little things have post-its underneath them. So that's how we know this one's number one. We sold this control board for a water furnace. This oh, went wow. for $89.99 plus it, it shipping. Kinda, so it's, it's like a 
model of something like inside of a computer and all of the things that work together to make the electric. That's right. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll be more than using it. Purple grapes. And yeah, it seems like Ricky definitely likes the purple grapes more. Yesterday we gave him green grapes. I think there was a few purple ones and I left them out. But he didn't really touch them. But he is going to town on these purple ones. Maybe next time when Ricky comes, you said get the purple grapes instead. Good idea.